he had his problems and it's not it's very easy to judge someone and not understand their background mm. you know it's not stuff that you talked about uh when you were young it's just you're into things and oh he does that oh he must be all right and you know, mm. but we're rubbing shoulders with all kinds of people. Mm. Um, well, that's what graft does, doesn't it, it? it? Oh, totally, totally. Different class doesn't exist. No. And, you know, I, I hate this thing where people try and put graft within a certain class. And bollocks, yeah. we grew up as kids. We were none the fucking wiser yeah, to, yeah, yeah. Any, to where anyone was living or what their background was. Oh, yeah, so. That's what I loved the most. But, yeah, I, I think that was, you know, that was the thing is you'd learn there were certain situations with people and you think fuck you and what they've done to other people and all that well, there is all that, that yeah. shit yeah? yeah and it's only later in life that you find out and you realize you know it's just we're too immature to realize it's sorry go, without going into too much specific detail yeah. elaborate a little more killer killer podcast killer killer official <laughs> street culture tv Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller podcast live and direct. Central London or central as you care to be. It's a nice sunny day, but it's sunny where you are. Big shout out to the originals, people have been sharing and caring for the jumper. Uh, without question, it's it's rife out there. A lot of things going on, and if you want to know more, get the television app free download, iPhone, Android, for your street culture, sports, and some. It's a very special day today. We have another Don, another legend in the building. <sighs> and he's a very humble character. He never wants people to talk in that certain fashion about him, but I am, because it's his podcast. <laughs> East London's first, and I'll go so far as first, but first generation East London, a central line batterer, among many others. He goes by the name of Urge. What you say, nice my one, brother? Nice one. Right. Right. <laughs> How you yeah. doing? Yeah, good, man. Good. good. What's, what's life saying? Yeah, yeah. It's finally here. <laughs> We've finally got him in. Listen, these dons, they take some... It's like it's like raising bread. You've got to, give them, you know, massage them in carefully. Make sure there's <laughs> enough yeast and let them cook for a bit before we get them in. <laughs> How's it been? Yeah, good. Yeah, good. You yeah. stand out of trouble recently? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Straight man, me, mate. Mm, mm. Well, last <laughs> time we saw each other, because this wasn't the first, was Breaking Convention, wasn't it? Yes, yes. And that was a vibe. Yeah, yeah. That was a good day, man. That was a good day. Seems yeah, like all the, yeah. all the Gs Places were there. Places down there. Yeah, yeah. ID, CBM, you yeah. know, Real London Cruise. Like, yeah, yeah Real stuff. London yeah. Cruise. Uh, those, kind of, those kind of places really give uh, a full 360. Arguably on what, UK hip hop began as, became in, into, and is now. Yeah. Just by the generations that are all present there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's a little bit of the romantic in me that thinks that perhaps the the jams back in the day were that way inclined. You know, where graffiti, break dancing, etc., were all housed in the, in one park or one one club. Would we'll go yeah, as far yeah, as saying yeah, so? Yeah. Well, I mean it. That, Jams were rare when I, you know, when I first started painting. I think really it was Battersea was the only, you know, was the only real jam. Um, jams are a weird one though because you know you're showing your face, you're in the public eye, mm. and um, that's what it's not what graffiti was mm. uh, certainly for me back then. Mm. So yeah, it's always been very, re- sure. very reclusive under the under the radar character. I think a lot of people are going to be surprised. Mm. To, to see you sitting mm. at the table here, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah, well, let's, yeah, let's see. Let's <laughs> Killer Keller has ways. Is he? <laughs> um, well, let's, let's kick it off, my brother. Let's right. kick it off from the very jump. This right. is Urge's podcast, and I urge you to pull the fucking ear drums back and get ready, because we're, we're getting into some history lessons here. <laughs> let's go, my brother. Yeah, so, um, yeah, originally growing up, Upton Park, Plasto, East London, um... Yeah, kind of pre-graph. Uh, I was into the whole uh, two-tone thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, drawing like madness signs and... Uh, well, here's one for you. Uh, primary school, 
I won the uh, Easter egg competition, Fatty, fatty Buster Blood Vessel. So there you go. <laughs> Fucking kinged it. Kinged it at primary school. Does Buster yeah, know so this shit? It. No. <laughs> I, was, I was asking my mum for a photo. Like, there's toilet roll, bald egg, and like, this cut out. Him in a skinhead, braces in his pants. So, yeah. I don't doubt that was, you know... a, a GCSE level fucking masterpiece <laughs> for the age, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so a bit of art there in secondary school. Um, I saw, so obviously we're influenced by music videos and whatnot, but so there was one guy, this guy Sandy up at my, my school, um, he was doing these sketches. It's like, yeah, so what's, what's that all about? So he's showing me these graffiti sketches, but he's never, it, it was just paper. That was that was it. That's as far as he ever went. How old had you been at that time? So I was about thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. Um, yeah, so it's going plasto. Um, so I start. I started with a name Polo Two, and uh, I started doing these characters. So it's like with the ski goggles, bubble hats, that kind of shit. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, I'd love if say anyone's got photos, that'd be brilliant. Comment but, below. Yeah, you so, know who you uh, are. Come on. Yeah. So. Um, Queen Street, Queen's Market, there's a car park up the top there. So I'd go out at school break and I'd be painting these things up, like up in the car park. and no that. Way. But other than that, graffiti-wise, nothing. It would have been oil, skins, National Front, all that kind of shit, yeah. you know. So it's just it's just at that point of like the whole uh, two-tone uh, skinhead, you know, crossing over into... Um, Electric Boogaloo and hip hop as we know it. I honestly don't think Madness and the specials and like the whole two turns, they don't realise the gravity of inspiration that they were for graph writers. I think Madness were taggers themselves, weren't they? Or something? Yeah, yeah. Well, unbeknown to me, but I know I've seen Met, you know, with photos with them and, mm. you know, it seems like there was, was an influence. You'll probably know more about mm. it than me, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I was into them as a band, uh, you know, at, at one point. Yeah, specials. And yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, early days, mm. early days. Mm. Yeah. And, and some, from there, like, when did you first make that transition of, yo, know, here's the cans? And now, right. I'm, now I'm in business. Okay, yeah. So this is it. When doing these characters, all I had to acquire was a can. Yeah, that that was it. But where you know where I was from, there'd be a lot of there's a lot of land, derelict buildings, places were run down. Um, there was I used to have an air gun as a kid, and we'd go over these fields along this river at Bark on Barking Creek, and. Um, yeah, it, it was just, it was like an outdoor lock-up type thing, yeah? <laughs> so it's like, what's in there? So we've gone in, I can't remember who I was with, but we've gone in there, literally, I am climbing over fucking boxes of paint, paint with the metal lids, rusty, a lot of, you know, a lot of the paint was, was fucked up, but it was like, i got a lot of paint, do you know what I mean? And this was like, really, <laughs> this was like the beginning. Um, so, yeah, so my first pieces were... Near Brampton School, sort of East Ham, um, there was a guy called uh, Terry Allen who I was hang, uh, hanging around with, but he wasn't. He was into it, but he wasn't painting. And um, yes, yeah, so you'd have like these electrical green boxes. Yeah, and uh, literally on the roadside, so I painted there. Uh, I did a couple of paintings in the uh, in the school, going in at the school, you know, school, couple of pieces there. Um, Tentatively moving into yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Funny enough, I did get I did get <laughs> nicked running through that school at one point. Really? So, yeah. I mean, it was virtually at the top of my road, and um, yeah. So this is like later on. So I had like a rucksack full of photos and stuff going up the Covent pe uh, pens, standing at the bus stop, tagging up the bus stop. Fucking police come. It's like fuck. So I run into the school oh, fuck's sake. and. Uh, Thankfully, I've dumped my rucksack on a, on a roof, gone out the other side, and they've caught me at the other side, so they never had my bag. So that 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 was all right. It was all right. But, uh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, that was like the first, uh, yeah, first pieces. Um, but, I mean, very soon in, it's like you're hearing about guys doing trains. And um, I met this guy called Remo. 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 Mm. Uh, R-E-M-O. Right. So this mm -hmm. guy, Remo... Later became Pusher, uh, A W E, um, but Big it was like, well. yeah. So Chris, uh, was, 
I decided, right, Christmas Day, I'm going to piece a bus and I'm going to piece a train. Yeah, it's like, right, we're going to do this. Wow. Yeah. So we get the parking bus depot. No fucking chance. It's like <laughs> it's like Christmas Day. There's security sitting in there. Couldn't get couldn't get over the fence. That but that was it. The guy was there. So right off. So um, yeah. So we went to barking. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So barking. It's yeah. Simple. Really? Over over a fence across the tracks. You you in now. I was shitting myself. I never knew anyone that had done it. Mm. I was determined to do it. Remo wouldn't come in. It's like so you no, were on your one. I was on my own. I was on my own. Yeah. So and it said po uh, polo. Was it polo? Hit it. I've got a photo. Got a photo of it. Hit it. Fuck. And I and I wrote on it. I admit I'm scared because I was fucking scared. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh... uh, the, the message to all. <laughs> yeah. you know, the, the original text message. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't mess. I mean, the thing is, you start at school, you know, kind of uh, pre graffiti, there was a guy, literally, there's an estate just across the road from the school. And it's at uh, Upton Park, between Upton Park and Plasto. And there's a council estate there. And you could get down the tracks there. And, um, yeah, it was a guy I knew. He was dared to get on the rails and put a corrugated, uh, corrugated iron sheet across the fucking rails. Yeah. And it fucked him. It did fuck him. Whoa, he had serious what? burns all up his arms. Who and, did and do that? Uh, we, kids, we're fucking stupid, you know. What we didn't have computer then? games. We've done all kinds <laughs> of, you know, stupid shit. Is he alive still? Yeah, yeah, he's alive, but he had serious, serious injuries. Has he yeah. still got scars? Yeah, yeah. well, I don't, you know, this is the 80s. I don't, don't you know, I don't know now. But, uh, I mean, yeah, he lived it. At this point in time, I'd like to add, do not try anything we're talking about <laughs> at, at, at home or in your personal time. <laughs> This is a nice little story. Some of it isn't true anyway, so yeah, just don't be don't be foolish. Do the right thing. Carry on, Ursh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, that was yeah that that was that was that. You do you train, you you hooked, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I put Remo up and uh, Dan, Dan. Dan was a guy at my school. It was Crane, Crane DPC. Yo, hold tight, Crane. Yeah, he's Dude, Crane. Another old grey boy. Mm, come on, oh, bro. Come on. <laughs> so he's like what? So, so, so he's old school like that, Crane. Yeah, yeah. So he's he's uh, yeah. He's probably a couple of years, couple of years younger than me. Yeah, so but what, like mid eighties. Like he he started painting in the mid eighties, son. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So no, a lot of the me. early pace. So when I was yeah. So Polo two. Um. When painting plasto. Uh, Crane would come, you know, he'd come down with me and help with fillings and stuff, and uh, yeah, we pretty pretty much went through this journey journey together. Early wow. days, yeah, yeah. I don't think people realise how far back that guy goes. It's, it's very know? hard to get the information out of East London, and maybe that's because I'm a West London guy. But you guys don't like talking too much. I think a lot of people are going to be. Getting some serious heavy insight. The fact that Crane is the same age as you, I did, did, just did no idea. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. mad. Yeah, that's it. Give me more. Yeah, yeah. More. But, um, yeah, through Crane, because he's, he's spent a lot of time in North London as well. Mm -hmm. So um, I met some of the guys there. Fume, ID, mm -hmm. Keen 53, mm -hmm. uh, Rees. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, they were good guys. Heavy. Ended up, you know, doing paintings with them. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, barking was a good one mm -hmm. <laughs> for some of us, anyway. Mm -hmm. It clearly uh, wasn't the first second you carried on going to to barking. Then I would imagine after the first time, it's a bit it's it's druggy, yeah, isn't it? Like you want to do it again? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, bark for me, barking, barking was the mecca. Not not just um, not just the yard, yeah. that area. You know, generally. Talk to me about what um, you're even thinking about it now. Tell me off the back because you can't see because the pixelation. You understand? Uh, what's What's it make you feel? Explain it when you think about those times and that era. Right, but it's yeah. I mean, it's just it's yeah. Initially, it's an it's an exciting thing, isn't it? It's the dangers. You know, you shouldn't be there. The smells. The you know, mm. it's. It, I mean, it's funny. Like when you you paint track sides and stuff, and uh, we go and do pieces there, and you'd have guys like workers walking from the yard to the to the station, and uh, literally you duck. You think about it now. You wouldn't fucking duck because 
you know they can fucking mm. see they yeah, can mm. see you they're mm. literally like feet away mm. do you know mm. what I mean um, but yeah but I mean Barking was a was a big one for me. Uh, I met a good friend of mine, uh, Raid, mm. uh, still mm. friends with now. Um, so he, he was from Barking. Um, yeah, walking the tracks and because Barking it's it's a web it's a mad one because you got you had the the little met mm. uh, the district line and then you had yeah. the the C to C as well. So That's there's right. all kinds of different ra- you know ramps for different lines and whatnot. New so, cross the, um, that line right. Well, so I don't often, I don't often get on transport now, so I don't even know half these fucking lines, mate. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so you would get various, you know, various walls in different position. You target different positions to to get different lines. Do you know what I mean? But then beyond that, of course, because it all crosses and blah, 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 blah. yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So different lines with different parts. So you, yeah, so you, you'd what you'd get the you get the commuters on that one. You, you've got the a little met on that one, and yeah, mm. so that's how you do it. But it also, there's a flyover, um, which was the A406. Now, mm-hmm. I'm old enough to see that fucking thing get built, so it's it's weird. Really? Um, so, yeah, so when they build that flyover, <laughs> it's all you, you know, all that metal mesh, cross mm-hmm. mesh. Mm-hmm. So, I went up there as a kid, that's all it was. You so you would walk up across this what? mesh. And look down, and you could see the rails and the roads, and yeah, mad. Ah. But uh, yeah, yeah. But that's so. Yeah, obviously that's a long change now. But all the pillars and that. Um, yeah, they were all fresh. But yeah, so I had peace virtually on on every panel. It wasn't me. It was a friend of mine. Um, so it was those pillars. I had like another hall of fame just uh, across the river from there. Um, it was like a couple of squares. Yeah. Who was so in that? Was it? Was, was it? Were you so, dominant in that as well? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was. The, yeah, but we had, um, let's, yeah. predominantly it was my pieces. Um, but ass kickers. So um, cans. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. Uh, yeah. Deny. Uh, Fuge. Um, two tone. Two mm-hmm. tone. Tough wow. Park. He okay. used to come down. Um, I love that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So in in that Hall of Fame, um, with Barking, it was uh, me and a guy that wrote Aero, and then later became Sure. Mm. Um, but yeah, predominantly it was my yeah, predominantly my pieces, and that that was the thing then. Yeah, is I could go back week after week, day after day, do a new piece, another bit of wall, another bit of wall, and mm. that and that was it. It's not like now mm. when your shit gets gone over, yeah, yeah, and that's been a lot to stomach. It's fucking weird. Like only a few weeks ago, Ruff uploaded uh, some photos, right? And it's like I recognise that spot, yeah, and it was barking. It's like what the fuck? Mm. That's my spot. Do you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> oh, well, Arrow painted there, and then Keen's like oh yeah, check the because as long as I was painting, yeah. yeah they were my spots, and I just get get more and more space. And if it wasn't me, then it was it was my guys. So um, yeah. So for anyone that came, you know, sort of east side, uh, barking, you, you know, uh, yeah. It was mine. It was, it was urge, mine. It's, yeah, an, yeah. it's an urge spot. It's an urge spot. But it was you know, there's lots lots of spaces. Um, yeah. So I've touched on West Ham. Uh, barking was a mad one. Another spot. Um, oh, which these are like kind so of, rarely talked about. It's blowing yeah, my mind. Yeah, yeah. But if you get keen in, he'll probably go into even more. <laughs> you hear that, keen? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, hear that, keen? Go yeah, on, keen. Yeah. <laughs> but where are we going? Um, so if you went further out east, because that's the thing. It, for me, it wasn't about London and Coven and West Ham and start keeping it. You know, I would go. I'd go the other way. As mm. much as I go in, I go out. Yeah, and I've met some great guys. Um, I've met some fools, but I ain't gonna really give them any uh, fame in this podcast. So, no. um, but yeah, so if you used to go further out, uh, another major spot was May and Bakers. So May and Bakers were like a kind of chemical pharmaceutical company oh. in um, Dagenham, and they had this wall, trackside wall, long white wall, and um, yeah, fucking brilliant for pieces. Just before that, there was another. Um, have a few walls, but there was two two main crews, yeah. Special effects, mm. which is freehand, aim, uh, and quest, and then you had the crime bandits, 
which was they were writing Bees and Aero. Um, now, I was always drawn to special effects, yeah, because they were the first guys to paint barking. Yeah, they, they painted that before me. That was the first right. fucking piece I ever saw down there, which got me motivated doing that spot. Um, Bromley by Bo. There's now, I don't know if people paint it now, but Bromley by Bo, mm. where the canals are and the river runs around yeah. along the trackside, there's that long wall there. Yeah. yeah. So when. I know where you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So it's a fucker to get photos. And I think it was studios or something on the back of that. Yeah. But. I don't know. I don't know what it is now. But, um, yeah, so when I was writing Polo 2, I was painting that wall. Special effects. They'd done a keen free thing there. Um, yeah, so special effects. I had to, yeah, I had to meet them guys. But, um, well, like yeah, so going it, back. What they like as characters. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll go in that. Go we'll on. go in that in a minute because, uh, yeah. No, they were the fucking good guys. Yeah. They were the good guys. Yeah, so Mayan Bakers, uh, special effects. Um Going to that wall where the graph was on it, I met so many new friends. Yeah. Uh, Frez, Artifacts, Hurt, Martin. Um, who am I going to... I'm going to miss someone and I apologise, <laughs> yeah. But there's guys, you know, that you know I've who you met are. from looking at that graph. Mm. And, um, yeah, they're still good friends to this day. Um, yeah, Frez was a major, major character there and... Um, yeah, got a lot of love for him. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of love for him. Um, then for, so, and then you have Bees and Arrow. Now, Bees and Arrow had this thing, this competition, like it was with special effects. Now, it's it's a weird one because I met them, I was hanging around with them, but it was just just it just didn't it didn't click with them. I I think the thing was. Because they were so respected locally and a lot mm. of what they were doing was commission, you know, or legal walls. Mm. Whereas to me at, at that point, it's alien fuck to you. that shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, um, balls at Covent, you know, it's like, well, that's not good. I'm like yeah. one of them little kids. That's not graffiti. Because <laughs> that's how, uh, that was the mentality yeah. then. Okay. They had the foresight. I didn't. But, you know, looking now, but that's not what it was. Um Wow. Yeah, so Bees so bees an error, but he's like he says what is it with you? You don't you don't look at us in the same way as other people look at us. It's like you look down on us. And it's not that I didn't look down on them. It's I just think they were so used to this praise and yeah. you know, respect, whereas I came from something mm. something else. Because in your mind they hadn't done anything. Yet. Yeah, well this is it. This is it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I got on a bus with them and um, we get on a bus to see what special effects like latest pieces, yeah. So, tagging the buses and whatnot. So, bees, he'd tag the bus and then he's not happy with it and he'd rub it out and then he'd tag it again, yeah. That's that's how he was for perfection, yeah. Um, we got to this wall and they they wrote. We came, we saw, we laughed. Yeah. So, all right. So that's their thing with uh, special effects. But as far as I'm concerned, special effects are fucking doing it. Do you know what I mean? Yes. We saw, so, we laughed. Uh, yeah. So underhanded, didn't it? Mm, well, there you go. Mm. We all had our ego. Mm. I mean, let's face it. I was, you know, when I turned to Urge, uh, I was writing King Urge. I don't, don't mm. know if you know this, but I was writing King Urge. So, I mean, basically what happened is, uh, yes, yeah, so from going to Romford, there's like the, Romp- the Romford Waterways, which is still being painted now. Nice. Um, nice. Yeah, so Romford was, was major. Bus bombing, it was smashed, yeah. So freehand, freehand is the king of the king of the hand style, yeah. Freehand, got freehand. riot. Um, this young ginger toy called Kinky. He can't see me right now, but... Uh, and um, there is a smile yeah, attached to that statement, yeah, by the so, way. Uh, yeah, it was, it's interesting how easy you could meet writers. You could spot writers. I don't, I don't think you can do that now. Like you know, it's yeah, we had to create. You know, we had to create our own our own styles. There was mm. no uniform. There was no icon to look at. And you know, we would, mm. but you know, we'd have to find a way of making it. 
making it work. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, it. I have this That's conversation it. all the time. Yeah. It's, it's, it's lovely talking about it as well because with an air of innocence and almost because there isn't the information being passed around at that time in the same way it is now, you're figuring out new way. You're finding the quickest way to do something in the most creative yeah. because you think that's the way it's being done elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. But actually it turns out not to be and you're just figuring something completely new. Yeah. That's just the best, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Just, it's, 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 it's testament of this time, you know. Yeah, definitely. And, definitely. and it's actually a shame in many respects that a lot of that creative, pre-creative um, building before going and doing a piece isn't... Isn't there anymore? Well, uh, see, it's just a th for doing a piece. It used to come way more natural for me. Did it? I could just, I could just, uh, I do a sketch, get to the wall. Right, what colours have I got? I work it out of the wall. Yeah, that's it. No real plan, you know. Mm. And it's like a sketch, right? Oh yeah, well, no, it looks shit. It looks completely different on the wall. Why don't mm. you start, you know, start playing with it? Adjusting. I yeah. don't. Yeah, I don't have that natural thing. Yeah. Definitely for me, I don't. I don't feel I have it. I think I have to fucking work for it. Mm. Um, when I was young and I had that ego, and I it just it just flowed through me. Mm. Now it's uh, everything's second fault, and you know overthink, overthink everything. You know, and um, yeah. Is that through? That. Crit does that come from through critique of looking at what you've done previously and saying, "No, I need to better that," and it kind of cramps you up. Yeah, well, it's a battle with yourself, isn't it? I think yeah. that's the thing. Is it? Yeah, for me anyway. I never used to feel like that. Um, I just used to do it, get on with it. Mm. Um, you know, big respect to guys like Tizer. Mm. It's just like mm. it could just <laughs> go to the wall. It's up. It's up yeah. in no time. It just flows. Yeah, you know, yeah. you could. You could just. Yeah, you yeah. know anything you can apply. You so, just give yeah. give him name something, and he'll come out, and you know it's a tizer. Mm. And I think that gets lost with some artists. You know when they try other things, it's like that. It seems to be like a completely different mm. identity. Yeah, 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 it's true, isn't it? Yeah. It's it, it, completely overlooked. There's a few that few writers that are like that, which not only does it look completely natural to them, but it looks like them as well. No matter yeah, what, yeah, what yeah, they, yeah. no matter how much they try, even when they change the letters, they've mastered that. Yeah. Own, I envy that. I love yeah. it when I see that in an eyes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, you know, writers like uh, obviously my, my man Keane, mm. uh, Merck, Cause, mm. Score, Crane, man. I've got a just, Crane as well. Yeah, like, Crane, Score, King. yes, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. In terms of style, and I think it's something that I recognise. You know, from a style, I guess, historically, where it's become so different now. Mm. Uh, and then if I've learned anything from anybody, it will be ethos. Ethos, mm. uh, react. Mm. The guy is, is fucking, yeah. He's just, he's just got it, you know. He's just got these techniques and, mm. you know, I've painted with a lot, a lot of people. Mm. I'll always, you know... <laughs> I'm always looking for constructive criticism and whatnot, but if I think if there's anyone that can really yeah, give me something, it is uh, it's ethos. Yeah, so for sure. Yeah. Um, How are we doing? How are we doing for time? I think we're doing okay, sir. Yeah, right, you know, I have this okay. mental timer in my head. I kind of know right. when the eggs cook. Okay. Um, right. uh, uh, you were one of the first people to do a whole car. Yes. So, well, it's a, it's a, that's. I mean, this is I'm fucking typical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is uh, this is typical graffiti bollocks, right? So it's called mythology. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, this would have been late. Like, so whole car, whole car would have been ass kickers. So let's go. I mean, back. So um, yeah, cans deny cause. This is cause C A U S E. Mm -hmm. uh, Rep one. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so that was, that was late, that was later, so you talking top to bottom? Yeah. Right, okay, because there was lots of window downs and, oh, you know, no, triple, I'm triple, my right, so. Yeah, I mean, I mean top to bottom. Right, it's so really top to right. bottom, yeah, but that was, that was unintentional, really. Um, but yeah, so we done, yeah, so, it was, yeah, central line, um, yeah, back when it was very, uh. Simple to get in, you know, go to 7-Eleven, get your packed lunch, get a train, just 
dip into some field, walking down the tracks, sitting at the top. I mean, that was the thing at this particular yard. It's all, you know, like you've got these slants that lead down to the tracks, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you've got that overview. So you can just sit up there, just watch, wait for the cleaners to go. In you go. Um, Beautiful. Yeah, wow. so I had this, not everybody's into it, but I had this habit of, uh, maybe because I was a bit taller than, than some of the guys I painted with, I'd go in the middle of the train, yeah? I'd go in the centre, everyone's window down, window down. I had this habit of, of um, yeah, going in the, in the middle, yeah? And... Um, yeah, off, off the back of that, it's like, well, fuck it, no, let's put a background on it. And so the guys are then like, oh, are right, oh, you going top to bottom? Right, so, okay, we're going top to bottom. So it's not like it was planned. If it was, it would have been better because, like like I say, I've gone in the middle, everyone else has started off with a window down. Ah, oh, like, shit, yeah. so you've just gone straight yeah, in between yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I would do, you know, it's like the just, the just, just deaf thing I did. You know, it was like, yeah, it's a floater, slat, it's just like a, tra you know, a lot of people do like transfer type pieces now, but I wasn't really seeing that with, with other writers, but yeah, I'd just go bang in the middle, half panel, half on the window, and yeah, I love it's floaters. there, so. I, I, you don't get enough floaters in the world, do you? Yeah, yeah, Experience. I mean, sometimes you get one, you just can't flush them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't yeah. take the East London out of third here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if we should go back a bit. So, go so for that's it. Our, so that's ass kickers, yeah. So yeah. pre and, and it was off the back of that whole car that we were called ass kickers because I just wrote at the bottom of it another ass kicking production and Rip one's like that's a name. God, Chris, that's like, good. Ass kickers, yes but it's, uh, it's another ass know, kicking nowadays. production. Come on, man, <laughs> that is sick. <laughs> yeah, but. Um, yeah, going back to like, you know, the whole uh, Dagnum and Romford thing. So, mm. you know, when you had the, you had the B, you had the B's and Aero. Yeah, mm. so there was Aero um, and then uh, Freehand and we started doing stuff as the three of us, yeah. Um, and then one particular night, me and Freehand, um, because Freehand was more of a bomber. See, it was, bombing's never been a big thing for me. Mm. It's like... Uh, you know, it's always been about piecing for me. Mm. I've always mm. tried to project it as as art rather than vandalism, mm. and do you know what I mean? Um, but Freehand, it's like right, okay, yeah, so we're gonna go bombing. So uh, yeah, so we go, we go to Wilford Station. It's like uh, <laughs> it's probably like it's seven, eight o'clock in the evening. There's a there's a train in the lay by, so we just go on the other side. Just start painting this train. You can see people on the platform. You can see the fucking paint fumes. It's like, right, oh, fuck it. Right, so, yeah, we do that. Then let's just start walking. So uh, I'm trying to think if they call that, is that the Great Eastern Line? Because we did various lines. Yeah, I think, yes. Yeah, so, um, so we would go, we'd, we'd do the track walking there. We'd be, bom you know, we'd be bombing all along the lines there, um, literally all the way up to Stratford. Mm. Unbeknown to us, there's a fucking yard, right? Stratford Yard, so which was like um, all BR blue slam doors. Yeah. We're called slam doors. So we never did it that night. We was just too, you know, we were busy bombing and whatnot. So we sorted another night out. You like the BR things? And, you like uh, the BR? I, look, I didn't, you know, if if it moved, I didn't care. I yeah. didn't have, so, I mean, this is the thing. There's a lot of, oh, bumpkin. Mm. I didn't have that. Oh, and that's it's, it's the BR, it's not still. Fuck all that shit. Mm. It was. It didn't. It didn't really didn't matter to me. Mm. It was something to paint. Yeah, that's that's it. And it moved, and that's what it was all about. And for me, it wasn't just about communicating with people within London. If I can get a photo of a reach by slapping something on a BR, then I'm I'm fucking doing yeah, that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So, so we go back again, and uh, it's like right, okay. So it's the three of us. We're going to be we free kings. Yeah. So. Um, so I did a piece saying Free Kings Rock. Shaw did one saying We Wear the Crown. Uh, Free Andy did a blockbuster. And then Shaw done, sorry, Shaw as in, Shaw was Air, his Aero. Aero mm -hmm. became yes, Shaw. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, now, big, I will say this with gritted teeth, yeah. But style-wise, Shaw, Aero had it. Yeah, it just... He could just do it on a whim. It just came out of him. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, it just freestyle it. I I struggle with that. I have to plan something. Yeah. yeah. I've seen shit online recently where he says he taught me, like, love. Yeah, bollocks. But uh, yeah, do you know what I mean? It's um It's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it is. And uh yeah, I opened some doors for him. Not that he'd ever uh own up to that. But yeah. He, I mean, the guy, guy's got style. Mm. That, that's that's for sure. That that is for sure. But um, he had a real, yeah. He had his problems, and it's not. It's very easy to judge someone and not understand their background. Mm. You know, it's not stuff that you talked about uh, when you were young. It's just you're into things, and oh, he does that. Oh, he must be alright, and you mm. know. But we're rubbing shoulders with all kinds of people. Mm. Well, that's what graph um, does, doesn't it, it? it? Oh, totally, totally. Different class doesn't exist, no. and you know, I, I hate this thing where people try and put graph within a certain class. And bollocks, yeah. we grew up as kids. We were none the fucking wiser yeah, to yeah, yeah. any to where anyone was living or what their background was. Oh, yeah, so that's what I love the most. Yeah. Sometimes, like you know, sometimes I'm just like I walk out the door and I'm like, because I, I do a bit of painting here and there, and and I'm just in a complete and utter fucking state. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And and I suddenly it dawns on me, I'm just like. Oh wait a minute! No one cares. <laughs> like, I'm gonna show up. <laughs> you know what I mean, writers don't care. The they they care about is how you're looking on the on the on the surface on the yeah, wall. Yeah, like yeah. If, that's all they give a fuck about. Yeah, yeah, and if yeah. you if you look shit on there, then you got hell to pay for. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I love writers like that. Yeah, yeah. Hate it. Yeah. But yeah, I I think that was you know that was the thing is you'd learn. There were certain situations with people, and you think, "Fuck you!" and what they've done to other people, and all that, well, there is all that, that yeah. shit, yeah? yeah. And it's only later in life that you find out and you realize, you know, it's just we're too immature to realize. It's, sorry, go, without going into too much specific detail, yeah. elaborate a little more. What you mean? Well, we would. He, he would think it's. Uh, he would want to try and sting people. He would give people a hard time. He'd rub people up the long way. I don't want to really get into the inner details. There's plenty of people that know. Okay. Yeah, and um, yeah, and I, I think. I think he used that in a positive way because, as I understand it, he became a, a social worker and there's nothing better than a mm. drug counsellor than an ex-junkie. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, respect to that. But, you know, it's, yeah, it's just, there's, you know, there was, I mean, other guys, other guys hang around with, and I just remember, like, every time you go to his house, you could just hear the fucking abuse from his parents and you'd never be let in his house. And But we don't get it. We don't... As a kid, you mm. don't understand mm. what people are, mm. are going through. Do you know what I mean? Interesting, interesting. Uh, I, I think I, I think with graph, and and the, on one hand, there's the beautiful side of like, it doesn't matter who you are, but there's a lot of lost souls. Yeah, and I think they, they make this name, they build the persona, like. They build their brand. They build their, you know, their calling card mm. to the point it, nothing else. It, it's almost like an escape. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. It, it is an escape. I've always seen it as an escape. It's a, it's another identity. It's mm. something to hide behind. I'm not the one that wants to be in front of a camera posing at Covent Garden and posing in front of my photo with Billy Big Nuts and... Mm. Um, it's it's another it's mm. yeah it's another identity mm. yeah you were never a big subscriber to the the crimin uh, yeah the criminal um, description of of raising paint racking because you you, you don't right. see it in the same way do you right i it's part of rich it's it's part of the ritual isn't it yeah. now you know i was quite fortunate i was pretty fortunate so um for like the old boys out there, me and Freehand, we had c17 jean jackets now if you know anything about c17 jean jacket you can fit like god knows you fucking can fit it. Three, four hundred mil in each pocket. You know the Michelin, down man. The back of your, <laughs> down the back, the back of your trousers, yeah. The other thing I learned early on is camera bags. I remember seeing someone with a camera bag. So it's a padded bag, yeah, almost soundproofed, whether it's 
full or empty, you would not know. Yeah, so uh, it was a good it's tool. Right it's there. a good tool of the trade, that's mm. for sure. And again, don't try this at home. Uh, yeah, criminal. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, not far from me. There used to be, right, again, it's for all the old boys, do it all. So how to do it all, do it, what they do it for. Right, <laughs> so that was their slogan. So you had to fucking laugh because they were giving it away. Yeah. <laughs> Do it uh, all. Oh, that is an old school. That's an old school story. I ain't had in ages. If we rehearse that, you could have put a beat down. Yeah, for that's what I was going to see commercials in deck. I forgot completely all about it. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, I was one of the older, more influential ones. So uh, you know, I could go in for first dibs. And when we would have these competitions, yeah, so it's racking. Don't call it anything else. It's it's that ritual, that mm. graph ritual, all right? Um, so there was these competitions, and regardless of who won those competitions, yours truly got the paint. <laughs> so uh, there was never, never a problem with paint, that's for sure. Is this how you validate it in your head, Urge? Is it, is it that it's not criminal... It's sport. Is that how you... Yeah, it's... Is that with yeah, age wisdom? Is that kind of, of conversation? Yeah, it's part of that. It's part of the thing. You know, people have taken it elsewhere, you know, and think, why paint when it could be a gold chain or, you know, if you're really that fucking bad, go rob a bank. But uh, no, nah, it's just, yeah. That's that's as far as it went with me. So you've never stolen anything else? No. Nah. Have you been if, in jail? Uh, not if it's not uh, graph related. But jail graph related. But let's let's scrub that word, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't steal. <laughs> okay, right? no let's steal. <laughs> right. Have you ever have you ever racked anything else? Other than paint and pens? Nah. Okay. Uh, nah. Have you uh, have you have you been to jail? No, no, no. So very very close. So that was really the uh, the, the death of it for me because. Um, oh. Paint, you know, and all the things are done. I get caught doing something really stupid. So it's like literally the train bridge um, at Barking, of course, goes mm -hmm. over the river. So that's the supports underneath. Yeah. So I'm doing a piece there. The train stops on top of the bridge. And literally about 13 old Bill. What? I don't know. About 13 old Bill come out. Yeah. Total fucking overkill. Come out and chase us. Yeah. So we all, I mean, there's loads of us there. There was generally a lot of people hanging around when I was mm. painting. And uh, yeah, so we all scatter. This is by the 406 bridge I was yeah. talking about earlier. Yeah, so um, so I've ended up up on that bridge going, running across the, the motorway, the 406, to get down on the other side mm. with a meat wagon just sitting there waiting for me. Yeah, doors open. There you go. Little been known to me, my local police station... All right, was a BTP depot. They've taken me straight off. I can never knew. It's right on my doorstep. Yeah, so they took me uh, to the station, and yeah. they, they were literally showing me British Transport magazines and saying that, like, yeah, you know, like, showing me photos of my stuff, and uh, say, so it's not. We don't like it. It's illegal. So yeah, fair play. But um, yeah, so there was that. But then off the back of that. Uh, I was so, yeah, I got Nick for that. You go back, see what goes goes on. Yeah. I can't remember the guy's name, but British Transport Police. I was re-arrested and they were showing me photos of virtually my doorstop. Really? Yeah, so they had so much fucking stuff on me. So, um, yeah, so it went to court, but it's, yeah, I mean, that, that was a fucking ride because I went to magistrate's court five times being saying not guilty not guilty because yeah. I, I just yeah, yeah. I, because of what they are it's like not guilty, not guilty. and um it was legal i don't know if it still exists now because right. uh, i stand on the right side of the law yeah, these yeah, days yeah, yeah. um so good but, outstanding um, members community isn't it? Yeah, yeah yeah um but yeah it was legal aid so they kept stringing me along, going to court every other week. Yeah, it's like, well, because you're pleading not guilty, this is now going to Crown. Yeah, kick that can down the yeah. road, basically. So goes to Crown. Uh, oh, we can no longer support you anymore. Here's your barrister. Yeah, okay, <laughs> right. Police office comes in. We know you are. 
you know, we've got so you know, so much shit on you. We'll put you away for at least a year. Uh, just plead guilty. We'll be soft on you, and that's it. So, um, yeah. So after all that ride going through it, and um, yeah, guilty. Guilty. And yeah, community service, thankfully. But that's the thing. They just chuck you in with a load of fucking real criminals. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a bit. It's an education. Then it's yeah, it's fucked. But there you go. But um, yeah, off the back of that. What did your mum and dad think? Well, right, okay. So, um, I there were certain things. I mean, I got involved with certain youth projects to get paint. So you'll always see there was a stage where um, I would do pieces, but I would have so many colours in them, yeah, purely because I end up with so many cans, <laughs> yeah, and it was about getting that fucking paint, uh-huh. yeah. Um, so there was a few things later down the line that, you know, that I was doing. Um, my dad, so obviously when I got, when they raided, so they raided my house. Yeah, well, I didn't touch on that, did I? So when I got rearrested, they oh raided my house. God. Uh, I had 215 cans of paint in my bedroom. As, oh, they I really went in on you, didn't they? Oh, yeah, yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but my dad, <laughs> he's, he's basically said, he tells me he's out of there, he's got permission. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Right. So uh, anyway, so yeah, so they, 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 they stripped me of everything. All my fucking photos, you know, I've had to re- get, get stuff back over years online mm. and whatnot. But um, yeah, that was, a, that was a shit time. So I got nicked. I come home. I ended up in a row with my dad. Okay. Uh, he started sh- sh- shouting at me. I went to run upstairs. He grabbed me. So I hit him. Yeah. And I hit him, busted his nose. And I've never been forgiven for that. My relationship is very... I don't have much of a relationship with my dad. Not just because of that, because of other things, but right. um, that's something it'll always bring up. Um, yeah, he was supposed to have an interview the next day. He couldn't, he couldn't do the interview. I fucked him. But, yeah, so it's... I was getting... You know, I was getting into shit. So yeah. it was... You know, when I was doing graph i would protect my pieces mm. so if i'd done a piece on a track side and somebody would take my background i would go after them yeah or you, i don't remember the time now i could be proved wrong but i don't remember the time where people were piecing over me maybe in uh west ham perhaps mm. but like in my area barking and that my pieces stayed for many years, I know mm. of one piece piece that stayed for nineteen years. Yeah, um, nineteen years. Nineteen years, literally, just before I started painting again. That's yeah, incredible. yeah. But I was getting into yeah, I was getting into shit. But even to the point where I wouldn't even confirm what had happened. If someone said to me, "Oh, so and so done that," then I'd go. I mean, it, it was. I mean, it's a passion. You know, it was a passion, but. An ego and it's how do you, testosterone. How do you, how do you not confirm that? How, how, what do you mean by uh, I, I would? What, you would never. What, you wouldn't ask questions. I wouldn't even go you. and have a look. Right. If, if someone told me they'd done something, okay. then I, I would You'd go, just go after straight it. after. Them. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that you know, as I was never, I was never like that as a kid. That's something that graffiti brought out on me. That's interesting. Yeah. You say that. And. Um, but it did. I mean, it did for you know, it did for a lot of people. It, you don't there think was it was later, in there. You don't think it was in their constitution to be that way. But but because of the hierarchy, because of the drive, yeah, and ego. yeah, yeah. It's just mm. yeah, it's a fucking ego identity, and to stop other people mm. doing shit. Do you know what I mean? Did your parents ever get it in the end? Did they? Did they? Did they frown upon you leaving and coming back into graph? Is it like oh no? Uh, well, back at it again. <laughs> Hold on to your noses. Do you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, well, the thing is, but yeah, so so much of that shit happened. I had to, I had to get, I had, you know, I had to give up because it was going, it was going the wrong way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I thought that I'd reach my, my pinnacle, really. It's like when I was doing um, the, it's known as the banana factory. So my mate Hurt, um, Chad Leaf, there was like a derelict building there. And we'd go and do pieces, yeah, go and do pieces in there. Literally, again, week after week, mm. I could just go and do, just join on the next one, on the next one. And it was, 
I, I, I couldn't see myself getting better than what I just thought, right, I'd reached it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I felt like I'd, I'd reached it, I'd done it. House music, acid house, parties, that came along and that was really the escape because graffiti would have just taken me... The, 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 kind of neutralised the things, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, totally, totally. Oh. I always hear these stories about, you know, rave and ecstasy and uh, free parties just, you know, just washing away a whole generation of hip hop. Yeah, but it was funny because I would say that I'd go to these parties and that and I'd see writers and and it was clearly they were still into graffiti. And it's like, at that point, I'm like, you still, you could tell by the way they dress and how they want to carry themselves. And it's like, you still into that shit. You know, really? and that is that was that was my mentality. You know, it was like, well, I've seen it, I've done it, da da, I've moved on, next thing. Mm. Um, I never saw myself come back. Really? That's, yeah, that's that's for sure. Mm. Um, yeah, it's a weird how do you one. feel about just out of curiosity? How do you feel about the diehards that probably maintained throughout that rave period? Yeah, I mean, side? respect to. I mean, I like looking at nineties graph mm. because it's that whole party thing, and there was a big. Influence and Big that time. is where that is where Graf got really interested. Did, I love it? looking at like what Score Score was doing. Mm-hmm. You know, it was outside of London as well, going. like Nima, TPG, all of those guys like Score and who else was there? Score used to roll it. Well, there was obviously uh, Sin Stars. There was TRC. Is that yeah, right? yeah, TRC? yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm just well, listen to your podcast, but you yeah, know, yeah. I remember these these. And like you were saying, the rave era really ad- 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 adapted itself to, to graft, didn't mm. it? Beautifully yeah. so as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. no, it was good. It certainly uh, mutated, but Does I that, was, no, that because you, I was no that, part of that. But yeah, that's what I was going to say. Do you, yeah. do you look on it now more fondly because you yeah, weren't part of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the same with hip-hop. Yeah, mm. it's like 88, from, so from 88, I was got you know, I was gone. And I think that it just became, I can't. Blame it. Well, graffiti was getting me in shit. But it's the kind of stuff I was getting up to. And it, mm. and it was just that whole aggression and how there were certain crews that had nothing real to to contribute towards graffiti style and pieces, which is mm. what I was about. It was mm. never never the bombing thing. You know, people would get cred- credibility by robbing people, getting them to fucking tag up. Mm. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, yeah, so I'm like, so, such and such. And... That's just yeah. no. That weren't my game. That yeah. weren't my game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, kind of the wrong yeah. way around of things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. The, the the tagging thing is a, a, a necessary evil for progress, isn't it? Yeah. And a lot of and a lot of a lot of you know the commuters, the the mops, the member of publics, they don't quite get what they're. The, the, no. What are you doing that for? It's interesting that a graffiti writer so he has that same kind of no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's well, I've you know I've recently got a dog and it's like dog can piss up every lamppost <laughs> and then then I'm the dog that will occasionally come along and do a shiny maybe runny turd. It's just <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I've, it's ta- don't get me wrong, it's taken a whole new level now. Mm. You look at like what ten foot, you know, ten mm. foot mm. jet. They, they're just so. Yeah, it, it, you know, know. it's it's intense. It's yeah. just yeah, silly uh, levels. You know the Hilch thing and yeah, Flash yeah. And, yeah, 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 without question. Yeah. But what made you get back into it after the rave era? Right, so uh, keen, totally keen. So uh, I was still keen. in touch. So I was still in touch with a guy called Boast. Um, yeah, and Boast, yeah, so Boast, he tried to get me out of the years. He's like, Keen, Keen, he's painting with Mode 2 and he's painting with this guy and he's painting, you want to see what he's doing? Da, 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 da. Kept trying to get me out. Mm. Uh, this was probably over years, yeah. And then uh, Didn't I said, you right, feel itchy at do... all? No itches to do it at all? No, I was in different things. I was producing mm. music and, you know, it's mm. just I took on a different, to, just took on a different journey, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, but that was the thing, is I was doing the music thing. Didn't, yeah, it didn't really work out. Got a proper job, and I think at that point you need to. I needed to escape back to some form of creativity, mm. which was the, the graph again. So mm, okay, yeah, yeah. So uh, Boast was like, yeah, look, Keeney, you know, let me get you out. You, you know, saying just come out and paint. And um, there was a jam, and uh, it was the Essex Essex Rockers in Chelmsford jumps for gasworks nice. so i look just come down bring some photos and uh yeah just see what it's all about so 
yeah, so I went to this jam, Aztec, Fuji, Yesai, Keen, uh, Test. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just rockers. And it was weird because for me, graffiti was a thing of my past. And there was like guys younger than me that knew knew about me. And uh, it's, yeah, I, I'd kind of forgotten it all. And it's like people can re it's part of your... Your history, and Man, that, that was must be mind it was it was mad, yeah, yeah. But you know, there's, there's a bit of a poison <laughs> to that because you know, I early that I had I had the ego, I had that graph ego. I wasn't my ego. I never put in people's faces mm. um, verbally, but I would put it on a wall. Yeah, that's that was how I did it. You know, yeah. I, I've you know, if I come to someone else's town and I'm like fucking King Urge, then you're either going to embrace it or think fuck you mm-hmm. and get your back up. And mm-hmm. yeah, that's yeah. So what? That that was it. Um, yeah. So initially coming back, you think yeah, 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 and but you soon learn it's a different fucking game, and it's like where you left off. You know, when mm-hmm. I was at. And when I was at my pinnacle, that is like the starting block for these new guys. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, it takes a bit, yeah. it's a bit of pill to swallow. Do you know what I mean? When you come back, it's like people are doing block letters, bubble letters, fucking mutated, you know, like the veg that they don't, that they fucking reject. It's like all these fucking styles. It's like, it was, oh, it just seemed weird to me, you know, but it's like, Everything goes. If it ain't style, it's anti-style, and mm. um, yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot to get your head head round. So, but you know, the poetry in that is that you're walking, and I get this with beatboxing. Believe me, because sometimes I'm just like, you're fucking hell. The style and levels of beatboxing, but when you go into a room, and this is what you experienced, you experienced them revering you, even though maybe subconsciously you're thinking to yourself, yeah, but you have just burnt a bunch of walls. But they see it as well, you're the, you were the guy that came before us that allowed this growth because you had set precedence. It's, mm. it's actually a, it's quite humbling, isn't it, in many respects? Yeah, because yeah, you're yeah. like, yo, I'm like, because your style will always be your style, but but in them, but in your mind, you're thinking to yourself, yeah, but the levels are so much more higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's just, it's changed so much and it, it's got a lot more, there's a lot more technique to it and it's far, a lot of it can be far more, anal and people have everything planned before they get there and I don't know it's like I I try for me it's I mean I'm not painting 80s but it's I'd like to think it's like a it's like an 80s thing that's been spiked up Mm. just spiked up a bit just to bring it a bit more you know up to date but then other people may see it a different I, I don't you know it's just it's it is it's what it is. What did you yeah. think when I when I hit you up asking you to come on? Because we you know we did I, this was before the jam as well. Like again, just to reiterate, this is rare. Like mm. you're a purist. You're a purist writer. You know, see, you say that I've been. I've, I mean, I've painted at a skate like local skate park, and I've got kids. Yeah, what are you doing? That's not graffiti. You know, and I want to fuck. Mm. Do you know what I mean? The old me would just want to fucking grab hold of it. It's like, yeah. go, 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 fucking read, mm-hmm. rock in the city, yeah. or yeah, yeah, do you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't know where I sit in this, and yeah, it's. But have you ever? Because it's it's very anti-establishment anyway, and I think your attitude was anti-establishment. I see. I no, I don't. I don't think I was anti-establishment. You don't see it like that. No, not at all. It was just a way of expressing myself and communicating with the like-minded. Yeah. It's a weird one. It's like I have always. So I think 1985, um, I did three corners in Farringdon, and I did a, a piece saying street art, yeah, street art, and you know, and mm. that was my claim. Like graffiti is street art. Now it's a whole fucking separate thing. Yeah. yeah? yeah, yeah. Other people call me street art, like, oh, street artists, and I'm fucking offended by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? But if it's you were the like, one that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time. <laughs> I can't, I can't call myself a graffiti artist because I'm, I'm a good boy now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that isn't yeah. that weird. That's mad. Yeah. That's actually mad though that you had coined it before it was fashionable. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. I mean, it's just been absorbed by media and marketing, and it's uh, and I missed all that. You mm. know, if I had continued, if I hadn't gone the wrong way, things may have happened. You know, I think it's 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 harder now to try. Not that I want to claw that back, but I think what what I'm really looking for now is the the next thing the next yeah. wave yeah because for for me graffiti now it has too short a lifespan it is what it is we did mm. it's self-destructive we just de it's destroying ourselves that took me a while to to comprehend because mm. i would take offense to someone going over me mm. yeah whereas now yeah it is what it is it's legal it's free for all that's it so how do i you know what can I what can I do? Now I'm not one of these street artists like Billy Big Nuts that's mm. going up on a fucking cherry picker, mm. getting paid to do these big walls. Mm, mm, mm. One, I don't want to fucking get up there. Mm. Two, I don't want to spend more than a fucking day at a wall because it's, for me it's it's all about what happens on, on that day. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. Mo it's the moment, yeah. the company and it is it, it is what it's it all is. the other stuff. Yeah, yeah. The music, yeah. the ambience, still yeah, yeah, yeah. So whereas you know, a lot of people want to go big are more domesticated and diluting what they do for a co you know more commercially. I'm going small. Mm. I want to go small, but phys you know mm. physical, you know, and ha provide something that has a shelf life. But I like well, you say I'm a graffiti po so a purist, but I want to do graffiti, and it would be nice to have it respected as an art form mm. in my sculptures. Yeah, ah. I mean, you look at like what Riker does. If I could be like the Riker mm. of Graf, mm. there's I mean? yeah, yeah, sculptures. Let's get into that. I think also though, what you're talking about there, you're talking about a next wave of something, almost like a. For a line in the sand that gives a, a new energy like perhaps what Instagram did to to graph yeah is there good could, how yeah, could you even yeah. forecast that I mean what NFTs well this is the thing oh, I've had company uh, people contacting me oh they want to convert my shit to NFT no I want physical yeah. physical fucking art form I mm. want something that can outlive I know it's morbid if I can make shit that outlives me, mm. that's got to be better than just something, as just a photo, you know, a photo memory. You genuinely memory. got me thinking now, like what? And, and, and is embracive to, to everybody or, you know, has, has, has got some legs to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's yet yeah. to be seen, isn't but it? But it's, fine, it's finding the audience. That, I think that's the tricky thing, you know. It's like writers will see it and think, yeah, it's good. How did you do it? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Or mm. oh, it's but it's not in their letters. Mm. It's getting beyond. Mm. It's getting beyond that audience. Do you know what I mean? And what will they? You know, you've got to get the public. How will they comprehend it? It's mm. not fucking street. It's mm. not street art. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, um, yeah. So getting over the lip of what the perceptions are of graffiti, and it. I don't know what they are yeah, anymore. No, no, no. I don't know what they are. It's it's fucking graffiti. It's all fucking alien to me. Now yeah. it's like what I considered graffiti is yeah. the 80s. I'm just another old man. Back in my day, mm -hmm. do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah, but it does yeah, throw so, things in a flux, doesn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. like you must have this constant identification crisis with graph. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it is. It's it's yeah. Well, maybe I just over overthink it. I don't know. It's like uh, no, where, no, 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 no. Yeah, exactly. where do you position yourself in in this shit? But usually, it's not for you to position yourself. No. It's yeah, it's yeah. to the onlooker, isn't it? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Sculptures are the way to go, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, yeah. Enjoying yeah. it. Yeah, I love it. It's a long process. It takes a long time. Time is money, mm, so it's. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's mm. like, you know, fair play to people who are doing their maps, and you know that's that's yeah. that's all good. It's quick. It's cheap. I'm trying to do something that is value. takes time, and yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. But mm. the value is in the beholder, and it's you know, and it, like most things, it's 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 promoting it, and it's brand. You know, getting people buying into your brand, mm. and uh, yeah, I mean. Sweet Tooth, 
Yeah. Fucking sweet tooth, mate. Oh, gee. He's, he's, he's just got great. it. He's got, he's just got it's it. Great. He's got it right. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And it's, it's nice because he's like, you know, he's come from graffiti, but he's got graffiti, but he's, it's that crossover, it's that crossover into the street art, but it's yeah. not. Yeah, or on, on an oil painting, it was just sticking. Oh yeah, it's yeah, fucking yeah, great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But he's branding, so it's like, just give him a fucking, give him a fucking object, yeah, yeah. any object, and he will turn it. It's sweet. It's like you yeah, know, yeah. he's got the fucking brand. Yeah, it's fucking great. Yeah. yeah. Although he doesn't have the brand, does he? Surely those sweets do. The candy sweets, the teeth, teeth sweets. Yeah, but I mean, I'm talking about his pro- so I'm talking about his output. His pro- whatever you know, the stuff, the stuff he sells, his, his models and his paintings, and it's it's the teeth, it's the sweet, and it's it's the uh, he's got them. It's the look, they're the fucking sweet. It's just just, just give me a little picture like that with them colours, and it's a fucking sweet. You know, yeah. unite sweet tooth. Yeah, All right. Um, yeah, and I, yeah, I've had an interesting conversation with him because uh, mm. yeah, with the with the models. I've been trying to do something that kind of, again, crosses over, yeah? Mm. People just have... I don't know, people aren't... People aren't getting on it like I would have hoped, yeah? Okay. But uh, basically, 3D throw-ups, yeah? So I'm trying to go in with the mentality of being quick. Not as quick as a throw-up, obviously, yeah? But it's the same materials that I would use in some of my sculptures, Yeah? Based on a certain character, and um, just just painting variations of this thing, and then slapping them up. Hmm. Yeah. Now, I haven't. Uh, well, I need to get busier. That's that's for sure. I mean, that's okay. the thing. This shit takes a lot longer than simply going out and doing a, mm. a, do a, a, a throw up. So. Um, wow, yeah, it takes gluing up and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'll show you. I'll show yeah, you I'm after. very intrigued, yeah, 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 and we'll have yeah, photos yeah. to show as well. Yeah, what I'd like. Yeah, I will collate a load of stuff to fuck yeah, get it put together. Yeah, yes, please. Yeah, uh, nice. Yeah. You've had such an interesting journey in graph. The, I think I think what what's poignant here is that you've your run has been from the fucking beginning but coming from a very different place to what's been conversated on the podcast really I mean, mm. big up fuji big up yes i big up big up keen of course crane but you know this is, these these conversations are uh, yeah further yeah. conversations are yet to be unearthed and, yeah there's there's so much so much more but yeah yeah i just feel like i've just been plonked in a whole different side <laughs> of uh of yeah graph. It's fucking, i, I, I love like it. what you mean I, you know, it's, it's it's a mad one because like i don't know I've heard so much about other areas, mm. you know. Um, East London hasn't, it's not really been represented. And when mm. I have heard people that have touched on mm. certain areas and lines that I know I was covering, you know, but it's like as if they were purposely fucking oblivious <laughs> to it, yeah. I don't, dude, yeah. Like each point with every podcast, yeah. I slowly smoked you out, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Keen, you gotta get Keen. Freehand, yeah, you gotta get him. You gotta get him out. Crane, Crane would he on. do it? Would he do it? Crane, yeah. Crane, Keen, yeah. all day. Yes, please. Yes, please. It's a yeah. matter of time. Yeah. Thank you so much, Edge. Thank you so Pleasure, much for mate. passing to my brother. Wicked. Yeah, nice one. It's been good. <laughs> See, what do you want out of this podcast? We keep it moving. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet and sweet tooth, we're moving through. Big shout out to Urge and all the East London Massive doing their thing now, my ace and dad as well. Uh, sharing is caring. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Killer Killer Podcast, always coming through every week. Um, don't uh, don't talk to anyone, I wouldn't. Uh, and uh, yeah, stay lucky, people. Easy. Nice one. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>